solving a literal equation. And uh, what this problem writes or reads is they want us to solve for r. And these all have simple different meanings. Um, if you're taking a finance class or something else, you guys might get to this. Um, or actually, well, really just in real life when you're doing anything that's dealing with interest, you're going to want to know at least the formulas and then also how to compute and find the values for the formulas. So that's where literal equations come in. So this is a formula for uh, simple interest, where simple interest equals your principal, which is your initial amount, times your rate, times the time in years. Now, let's say I wanted to find out R. All right, I wanted to find, let's say, um, I know how much interest I'm paying on a loan, I know how much my initial investment was, and I know how many years that I you know, invested or, and I want to figure out what is the rate that I'm getting charged. So let's say solve for R. So what I'm going to want to do on this problem is I'm going to want to get my R by itself. So to do that, I need to understand what is happening to my R. And usually it's easiest to look at, or easiest, most easy, to look at, I don't know which way to better say it. Um, <laughs> usually you want to see, look at the four functions first. And four functions, or four operations, I should say, are going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And see if we can undo those operations. There's also squaring and taking the root of numbers, but you know, for right now, we're dealing with some pretty easy, uh, easy operations. So I look for addition signs. There's no addition going on here. I look for subtraction. There's no subtraction. I look for division or fractions. There's no division or fractions. So therefore, I know right now what's going on is going to be multiplication. All right. So I need to undo multiplication. Now remember, when I say solve for r, that means my final value is r equals something. r is by itself. So right now, why is r not by itself? Well, it's being multiplied by t, and it's being multiplied by p. So we're going to do this actually in two different ways. You could do it the slow way. Well, to undo multiplication by t, you're going to want to divide by t. And then to undo division by p, you're going to want to divide by p. And this is where it kind of gets confusing on this because you're not, um, well, I guess p over 1, 1p, one yep. Divide by p, so therefore it's going to equal i over tp equals r. All right? Well, so therefore, you can then you can say that r is by itself. I've made a capitalized r to a lowercase r. I don't know why. So r equals i over tp. Or you can do them at the same time. This is like the faster way. And there you go. Now you solve for R two different ways.